William Marsh Rice University, commonly known as Rice University, is a private research university located on a 300-acre campus in Houston, Texas, United States. The university is situated near the Houston Museum District and is adjacent to the Texas Medical Center. Opened in 1912 after the murder of its namesake William Marsh Rice, Rice is now a research university with an undergraduate focus. Its emphasis on education is demonstrated by a small student body and 6 to 1 student faculty ratio, and it has been nationally recognized as a leading university for undergraduate teaching. The university has a very high level of research activity, with $140.2 million in sponsored research funding in 2016. Rice is noted for its applied science programs in the fields of artificial heart research, structural chemical analysis, signal processing, space science, and nanotechnology. It was ranked first in the world in materials science research by the Times Higher Education the in 2010. Rice is a member of the Association of American Universities. The university is organized into 11 residential colleges and 8 schools of academic study, including the Wee School of Natural Sciences, the George R. Brown School of Engineering, the School of Social Sciences, School of Architecture, Shepherd School of Music and the School of Humanities. Undergraduates select from more than 50 majors and two dozen minors, and have a high level of flexibility in pursuing multiple degree programs. Additional graduate programs are offered through the Jesse H. Jones Graduate School of Business and the Suzanne M. Glasscock School of Continuing Studies. Rice students are bound by the strict honor code, which is enforced by a student run honor council. Rice competes in 14 NCAA Division I varsity sports and is a part of Conference USA, often competing with its crosstown rival, the University of Houston. Intramural and club sports are offered in a wide variety of activities such as jiu-jitsu, water polo, and crew. The university has produced numerous prominent alumni, including more than two dozen Marshall Scholars and a dozen Rhodes Scholars. Given the university's close links to NASA, it has produced a disproportionate number of astronauts and space scientists. In business, Rice graduates have become CEOs and founders of Fortune 500 companies. In politics, alumni have won positions as congressmen, cabinet secretaries, judges, and mayors. Two alumni have won the Nobel Prize, and numerous others are leading researchers in science, technology, and engineering. Topic: History. Topic: Background. The history of Rice University began with the untimely demise of Massachusetts businessman William Marsh Rice, who made his fortune in real estate, railroad development and cotton trading in the state of Texas. In 1891, Rice decided to charter a free tuition educational institute in Houston, bearing his name, to be created upon his death, earmarking most of his estate towards funding the project. Rice as well specified the institution was to be a competitive institution of the highest grade and that only white students would be permitted to attend. On the morning of September 23, 1900, Rice, age 84, was found dead by his valet, Charles F. Jones, and presumed to have died in his sleep. Shortly thereafter, a suspiciously large check made out to Rice's New York City lawyer, signed by the late Rice, was noticed by a bank teller due to a misspelling in the recipient's name. The lawyer, Albert T. Patrick, then announced that Rice had changed his will to leave the bulk of his fortune to Patrick, rather than to the creation of Rice's Educational Institute. A subsequent investigation led by the District Attorney of New York resulted in the arrests of Patrick and of Rice's butler and valet Charles F. Jones, who had been persuaded to administer chloroform to Rice while he slept. Rice's friend and personal lawyer in Houston, Captain James A. Baker, aided in the discovery of what turned out to be a fake will with a forged signature. Jones was not prosecuted since he cooperated with the district attorney, and testified against Patrick. Patrick was found guilty of conspiring to steal Rice's fortune and convicted of murder in 1901, although he was pardoned in 1912 due to conflicting medical testimony. Baker helped Raya's estate direct the fortune, worth $4.6 million in 1904 $125 million today, towards the founding of what was to be called the Rice Institute, later to become Rice University. The board took control of the assets on April 29 of that year. 
In 1907, the Board of Trustees selected the head of the Department of Mathematics and Astronomy at Princeton University, Edgar Odell Lovett, to head the institute, which was still in the planning stages. He came recommended by Princeton's president, Woodrow Wilson. In 1908, Lovett accepted the challenge, and was formally inaugurated as the institute's first president on October 12, 1912. Lovett undertook extensive research before formalizing plans for the new institute, including visits to 78 institutions of higher learning across the world on a long tour between 1908 and 1909. Lovett was impressed by such things as the aesthetic beauty of the uniformity of the architecture at the University of Pennsylvania, a theme which was adopted by the Institute, as well as the residential college system at Cambridge University in England, which was added to the Institute several decades later. Lovett called for the establishment of a university of the highest grade, an institution of liberal and technical learning, devoted quite as much to investigation as to instruction. We must keep the standards up and the numbers down," declared Lovett. The most distinguished teachers must take their part in undergraduate teaching, and their spirit should dominate it all. <laughs> <laughs> Establishment and growth In 1911 the cornerstone was laid for the Institute's first building, the Administration Building, now known as Lovett Hall in honor of the founding president. On September 23, 1912, the anniversary of William Marsh Rye's murder, the William Marsh Rice Institute for the Advancement of Letters, Science, and Art began coursework. Forty-eight male and twenty-nine female students were enrolled, paying no tuition, with classes taught by a dozen faculty. Unusual for the time, Rice accepted coeducational admissions, but on-campus housing would not become coed until 1957. Three weeks after opening, a spectacular international academic festival was held in celebration, bringing Rice to the attention of the entire academic world. Four years later, at the first commencement ceremony, 35 bachelor's degrees and one master's degree were awarded. That year, the student body voted to adopt the honor system, which still exists today. The first doctorate was conferred in 1918 on mathematician Hubert Evelyn Bray. During World War II, Rice Institute was one of 131 colleges and universities nationally that took part in the V-12 Navy College Training Program which offered students a path to a Navy commission. The Founders Memorial Statue, a bronze statue of a seated William Marsh Rice, holding the original plans for the campus, was dedicated in 1930, and installed in the Central Academic Quad, facing Lovett Hall. The statue was crafted by John Angel. The residential college system proposed by President Lovett was adopted in 1958, with the East Hall residents becoming Baker College, South Hall residents becoming Will Rice College, West Hall becoming Hanson College, and the temporary Weiss Hall becoming Weiss College. In 1959, the Rice Institute computer went online. 1960 saw Rice Institute formally renamed William Marsh Rice University. Rice acted as a temporary intermediary in the transfer of land between Humble Oil and Refining Company and NASA, for the creation of NASA's Manned Spacecraft Center now called Johnson Space Center in 1962. President John F. Kennedy then made a speech at Rice Stadium reiterating that the United States intended to reach the moon before the end of the decade of the 1960s, and to become the world's leading space-faring nation. The relationship of NASA with Rice University and the city of Houston has remained strong to the present day. The original charter of Rice Institute dictated that the university admit and educate, tuition-free, the white inhabitants of Houston, and the state of Texas. In 1963, the governing board of Rice University filed a lawsuit to allow the university to modify its charter to admit students of all races and to charge tuition. Ph.D. student Raymond Johnson became the first black Rice student when he was admitted that year. In 1964, Rice officially amended the university charter to desegregate its graduate and undergraduate divisions. The trustees of Rice University prevailed in a lawsuit to void the racial language in the trust in 1966. Rice began charging tuition for the first time in 1965. In the same year, Rice launched a $33 million, $256 million development campaign. $43 million, $271 million was raised by its conclusion in 1970. 
In 1974, two new schools were founded at Rice, the Jesse H. Jones Graduate School of Management and the Shepherd School of Music. The Brown Foundation Challenge, a fundraising program designed to encourage annual gifts, was launched in 1976 and ended in 1996 having raised $185 million, $289 million. The Rice School of Social Sciences was founded in 1979. On campus housing was exclusively for men for the first 40 years, until 1957. Jones College was the first women's residence on the Rice campus, followed by Brown College. According to legend, the women's colleges were purposefully situated at the opposite end of campus from the existing men's colleges as a way of preserving campus propriety, which was greatly valued by Edgar Odell Lovett, who did not even allow benches to be installed on campus, fearing that they might lead to co-fraternization of the sexes. The path linking the North Colleges to the center of campus was given the tongue-in-cheek name of Virgin's Walk. Individual colleges became coeducational between 1973 and 1987, with the single-sex floors of colleges that had them becoming co-ed by 2006. By then, several new residential colleges had been built on campus to handle the university's growth, including Lovett College, Sid Richardson College, and Martell College. Topic. Recent history The Economic Summit of Industrialized Nations was held at Rice in 1990. In 1993, the James A. Baker III Institute for Public Policy was created. In 1997, the Edith Bates Old Grand Organ and Recital Hall and the Center for Nanoscale Science and Technology, renamed in 2005 for the late Nobel Prize winner and Rice professor Richard E. Smalley, were dedicated at Rice. In 1999, the Center for Biological and Environmental Nanotechnology was created. The Rice Owls baseball team was ranked number one in the nation for the first time in that year 1999, holding the top spot for eight weeks. In 2003, the Owls won their first national championship in baseball, which was the first for the university in any team sport, beating Southwest Missouri State in the opening game and then the University of Texas and Stanford University twice each en route to the title. In 2008, President David Lebrun issued a 10-point plan titled, Vision for the Second Century. Outlining plans to increase research funding, strengthen existing programs, and increase collaboration. The plan has brought about another wave of campus constructions, including the erection the newly renamed Bioscience Research Collaborative Building intended to foster collaboration with the adjacent Texas Medical Center, a new recreational center and the renovated Autry Court Basketball Stadium, and the addition of two new residential colleges, Duncan College and McMurtry College. Beginning in late 2008, the university considered a merger with Baylor College of Medicine, though the merger was ultimately rejected in 2010. Select Rice undergraduates are currently guaranteed admission to Baylor College of Medicine upon graduation as part of the Rice-Baylor Medical Scholars Program. According to history professor John Bowles' recent book University Builder, Edgar Odell Lovett and the Founding of the Rice Institute, the first president's original vision for the university included hopes for future medical and law schools. In 2018, the university added an online MBA program, MBA at Rice. Campus Raya's campus is a heavily wooded 285-acre tract of land located close to the city of West University Place, in the Museum District of Houston. Five streets demarcate the campus, Greenbrier Street, Rice Boulevard, Sunset Boulevard, Main Street, and University Boulevard. For most of its history, all of Raya's buildings have been contained within this outer loop. In recent years, new facilities have been built close to campus, but the bulk of administrative, academic, and residential buildings are still located within the original pentagonal plot of land. The new Collaborative Research Center, All Graduate Student Housing, the Greenbrier Building, and the Weiss President's House are located off campus. Rice prides itself on the amount of green space available on campus, there are only about 50 buildings spread between the main entrance at its easternmost corner, and the parking lots and Rice Stadium at the west end. The Lynn R. Lowry Arboretum, consisting of more than 4,000 trees and shrubs giving birth to the legend that Rice has a tree for every student, is spread throughout the campus. 
The university's first president, Edgar Odell Lovett, intended for the campus to have a uniform architecture style to improve its aesthetic appeal. To that end, nearly every building on campus is noticeably Byzantine in style, with sand and pink colored bricks, large archways and columns being a common theme among many campus buildings. Noteworthy exceptions include the glass-walled Brockstein Pavilion, Lovett College with its brutalist-style concrete gratings, and the eclectic Mediterranean Duncan Hall. In September 2011, Travel Plus Leisure listed Raya's campus as one of the most beautiful in the United States. Lovett Hall, named for Raya's first president, is the university's most iconic campus building. Through its Sallyport Arch, new students symbolically enter the university during matriculation and depart as graduates at commencement. Duncan Hall, Raya's computational engineering building, was designed to encourage collaboration between the four different departments situated there. The building's foyer, drawn from many world cultures, was designed by the architect to symbolically express this collaborative purpose. The campus is organized in a number of quadrangles. The academic quad, anchored by a statue of founder William Marsh Rice, includes Ralph Adams Cram's masterpiece, the asymmetrical Lovett Hall, the original administrative building, Fonderen Library, Gerstein Hall, the original physics building and home to the largest amphitheater on campus, Sewell Hall for the Social Sciences and Arts, Razor Hall for the Languages, and Anderson Hall of the Architecture Department. The Humanities Building, winner of several architectural awards, is immediately adjacent to the main quad. Further west lies a quad surrounded by McNair Hall of the Jones Business School, the Baker Institute, and Alice Pratt Brown Hall of the Shepherd School of Music. These two quads are surrounded by the university's main access road, a one-way loop referred to as the inner loop. In the engineering quad, a trinity of sculptures by Michael Heiser, collectively entitled 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, are flanked by Abercrombie Laboratory, the Cox Building, and the Mechanical Laboratory, housing the Electrical, Mechanical, and Earth Science, Civil Engineering Departments, respectively. Duncan Hall is the latest addition to this quad, providing new offices for the computer science, computational and applied math, electrical and computer engineering, and statistics departments. Roughly three-quarters of Raya's undergraduate population lives on campus. Housing is divided among 11 residential colleges, which form an integral part of student life at the university see Residential Colleges of Rice University. The colleges are named for university historical figures and benefactors, and while there is wide variation in their appearance, facilities, and dates of founding, are an important source of identity for Rice students, functioning as dining halls, residence halls, sports teams, among other roles. Rice does not have or endorse a Greek system, with the residential college system taking its place. Five colleges, McMurtry, Duncan, Martell, Jones, and Brown are located on the north side of campus, across from the South Colleges, Baker, Will Rice, Lovett, Hanson, Sid Richardson, and Weiss, on the other side of the academic quadrangle. Of the eleven colleges, Baker is the oldest, originally built in 1912, and the twin Duncan and McMurtry colleges are the newest, and open for the first time for the 2009-10 school year. Will Rice, Baker, and Lovett colleges are undergoing renovation to expand their dining facilities as well as the number of rooms available for students. The on-campus football facility, Rice Stadium, opened in 1950 with a capacity of 70,000 seats. After improvements in 2006, the stadium is currently configured to seat 47,000 for football but can readily be reconfigured to its original capacity of 70,000, more than the total number of Rice alumni, living and deceased. The stadium was the site of Super Bowl VIII and a speech by John F. Kennedy on September 12, 1962 in which he challenged the nation to send a man to the moon by the end of the decade. The recently renovated Tudor Fieldhouse, formerly known as Autry Court, is home to the basketball and volleyball teams. Other stadia include the Rice Track, Soccer Stadium and the Jake Hess Tennis Stadium. A new rec center now houses the intramural sports offices and provide an outdoor pool, training and exercise facilities for all Rice students, while athletics training will solely be held at Tudor Fieldhouse and the Rice Football Stadium. The University and Houston Independent School District jointly established the Rice School, a kindergarten through eighth grade public magnet school in Houston. The school opened in August 1994. Through Sci Fair ISD Rice University offers a credit course-based summer school for grades 8 through 12. They also have skills-based classes during the summer in the Rice Summer School. 
Topic organization Rice University is chartered as a non-profit organization and is governed by a privately appointed board of trustees. The board consists of a maximum of 25 voting members who serve four-year terms. The trustees serve without compensation and a simple majority of trustees must reside in Texas, including at least four within the greater Houston area. The board of trustees delegates its power by appointing a president to serve as the chief executive of the university. David W. Lebron was appointed president in 2004 and succeeded Malcolm Gillis who served since 1993. The provost, six vice presidents, and other university officials report to the president. The president is advised by a university council composed of the provost, eight members of the faculty council, two staff members, one graduate student, and two undergraduate students. The president presides over a faculty council which has the authority to alter curricular requirements, establish new degree programs, and approve candidates for degrees. RIA's undergraduate students benefit from a centralized admissions process, which admits new students to the university as a whole, rather than a specific school the schools of music and architecture are decentralized. Students are encouraged to select the major path that best suits their desires. A student can later decide that they would rather pursue study in another field, or continue their current coursework and add a second or third major. These transitions are designed to be simple at Rice, with students not required to decide on a specific major until their sophomore year of study. RIA's academics are organized into six schools which offer courses of study at the graduate and undergraduate level, with two more being primarily focused on graduate education, while offering select opportunities for undergraduate students. RICE offers 360 degrees in over 60 departments. There are 40 undergraduate degree programs, 51 master's programs, and 29 doctoral programs. Undergraduate tuition for the 2011-2012 school year was $34,900. $651 was charged for fees, and Rice projected an $800 budget for books and $1,550 for personal expenses. Rice students were charged $12,270 for room and board. Per year, the total cost of a Rice University education was $50,171. Faculty members of each of the departments elect chairs to represent the department to each school's dean and the deans report to the provost who serves as the chief officer for academic affairs. Topic Academics Rice is a medium-sized, highly residential research university. The majority of enrollments are in the full-time, four-year undergraduate program emphasizing arts and sciences and professions. There is a high graduate coexistence with the comprehensive graduate program and a very high level of research activity. It is accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools as well as the professional accreditation agencies for engineering, management, and architecture. Each of RIA's departments is organized into one of three distribution groups, and students whose major lies within the scope of one group must take at least three courses of at least three credit hours each of approved distribution classes in each of the other two groups, as well as completing one physical education course as part of the LPAP Lifetime Physical Activity Program requirement. All new students must take a Freshman Writing Intensive Seminar FWIS class, and for students who do not pass the university's Writing Composition Examination administered during the summer before matriculation, FWIS 100, a writing class, becomes an additional requirement. The majority of RIA's undergraduate degree programs grant BS or BA degrees. RICE has recently begun to offer minors in areas such as business, energy and water sustainability, and global health. Topic. Student body Men make up 52% of the undergraduate body and 64% of the professional and postgraduate student body as of fall 2014. The student body consists of students from all 50 states, including the District of Columbia, two U.S. territories, and 83 foreign countries. 40% of degree-seeking students are from Texas. Topic. Honor Code The Rice Honor Code plays an integral role in academic affairs. Almost all Rice exams are unproctored and professors give timed, closed book exams that students take home and complete at their own convenience. Potential infractions are reported to the Student Honor Council, elected by popular vote. 
The penalty structure is established every year by council consensus. Typically, penalties have ranged from a letter of reprimand to an F in the course and a two semester suspension. During orientation week, students must take and pass a test demonstrating that they understand the honor system's requirements and sign a matriculation pledge. On assignments, Rice students affirm their commitment to the honor code by writing on my honor, I have neither given nor received any unauthorized aid on this examination, quiz or paper. Topic. Research centers and resources Rice is noted for its pioneer applied science programs in the fields of nanotechnology, artificial heart research, structural chemical analysis, and space science, being ranked first in the world in materials science research by the Times Higher Education the, in 2010. Richard E. Smalley Institute for Nanoscale Science and Technology Smalley Institute, the nation's first nanotechnology center. Center for Biological and Environmental Nanotechnology CBEN promotes the discovery and development of nanomaterials that enable new medical and environmental technologies. Laboratory for Nanophotonics LANP provides a resource for education and research breakthroughs and advances in the broad, multidisciplinary field of nanophotonics. Digital Signal Processing DSP Center for Education and Research in the Field of Digital Signal Processing Rice Quantum Institute – Organization dedicated to research and higher education in areas relating to quantum phenomena Rice Space Institute fosters programs in all areas of space research Institute of Biosciences and Bioengineering IBB facilitates the translation of interdisciplinary research and education in biosciences and bioengineering Ken Kennedy Institute for Information Technology, dedicated to the advancement of applied interdisciplinary research in the areas of computation and information technology. Baker Institute for Public Policy, one of the leading nonpartisan public policy think tanks in the country. OpenStax CNX, formerly Connections, and OpenStax, an open source platform and open access publisher, respectively, of open educational resources. Rice Alliance for Technology and Entrepreneurship, supports entrepreneurs and early-stage technology ventures in Houston and Texas through education, collaboration, and research, ranked number one among top university business incubators. Mid-Infrared Technologies for Health and the Environment MIRTHE, Rice Gallery Kinder Institute for Urban Research, conducts the Houston Area Survey, the nation's longest-running study of any metropolitan region's economy, population, life experiences, beliefs and attitudes Humanities Research Center HRC, identifies, encourages, and funds innovative research projects by faculty, visiting scholars, graduate, and undergraduate students in the School of Humanities and beyond Center for the Study of Women, Gender, and Sexuality CSWGS Rice Center for Critical and Cultural Theory 3CT promotes intellectual synergy and community among Rice faculty and graduate students whose work is informed by a deep and sustained engagement with critical and cultural theory and their ongoing development and permutations Chow Center for Asian Studies Topic Admissions Admission to Rice is rated as most selective by U.S. News & World Report. For fall 2017, Rice received 18,063 freshman applications applications, 2,864 were admitted 15.8% and 1048 enrolled. The middle 50% range of SAT scores were 730 to 780 for composite reading and writing and 760 to 800 for math, the middle 50% range of the ACT composite score was 33 to 35. Topic rankings Rice was ranked tied at 14th among national universities and 81st among global universities, and third for best undergraduate teaching in the U.S. by U.S. News & World Report in its 2018 edition. USNWR also ranked both the Jones Graduate School of Management and the Brown School of Engineering 29th in the nation in 2017. Forbes magazine ranked Rice University at 22nd nationally among both liberal arts colleges and universities in 2017. Kiplinger's Personal Finance places Rice fourth in its 2015 ranking of best value private universities in the United States. In 2017, Rice was ranked 86th in the world by the Times Higher Education World University Rankings. In 2016, Rice was ranked tied for 72nd internationally 38th nationally by the academic ranking of world universities. Rice University was also ranked 90th globally in 2016 by QS World University Rankings. 
Rice is noted for its entrepreneurial activity, and has been recognized as the top-ranked business incubator in the world by the Stockholm-based UBI Index for both 2013 and 2014. The Princeton Review ranked Rice first for best quality of life and happiest students in its 2012 edition, 20th among the most LGBT-friendliest colleges in its 2014 edition, and one of the top 50 best value private colleges in its 2011 edition. Rice was ranked 41st among research universities by the Center for Measuring University Performance in 2007. Consumers Digest ranked Rice third on the list of top five values in private colleges in its June 2011 issue. Fisk Guide to Colleges ranked Rice as one of the top 25 private best buy schools in its 2012 edition. In 2011 the Leiden Ranking, which measures the performance of 500 major research universities worldwide, using metrics designed to measure research impact ranked Rice fourth globally, for effectiveness and contribution of research. In 2013 the university was again ranked first globally for quality of research in natural sciences and engineering, and sixth globally for all sciences. In 2014, the Daily Beast ranked Rice 14th out of nearly 2,000 schools it evaluated. In 2016, Money Magazine ranked Rice fourth in the nation. Topic student life Situated on nearly 300 acres 120 hectares in the center of Houston's Museum District and across the street from the city's Herman Park, Rice is a green and leafy refuge, an oasis of learning convenient to the amenities of the nation's fourth largest city. Rice's campus adjoins Herman Park, the Texas Medical Center, and a neighborhood commercial center called Rice Village. Herman Park includes the Houston Museum of Natural Science, the Houston Zoo, Miller Outdoor Theater and an 18-hole municipal golf course. Reliant Park, home of Reliant Stadium and the Astrodome, is 2 miles 3 kilometers south of the campus. Among the dozen or so museums in the museum district is the Rice University Art Gallery, open during the school year. Easy access to downtown's theater and nightlife district and to Reliant Park is provided by the Houston Metrorail system, with a station adjacent to the campus's main gate. The campus recently joined the Zipcar program with two vehicles to increase the transportation options for students and staff who need but currently don't utilize a vehicle. Topic. Residential colleges In 1957, Rice University implemented a residential college system, as proposed by the university's first president, Edgar O'Dell Lovett. The system was inspired by existing systems in place at Oxford and Cambridge in England and at several other universities in the United States, most notably Yale University. The existing residences known as East, South, West, and Weiss Halls became Baker, Will Rice, Hanson, and Weiss Colleges, respectively. Topic. List of residential colleges in order of founding This is a list of residential colleges at Rice Baker College, named in honor of Captain James A. Baker, friend and attorney of William Marsh Rice, and first chair of the Rice Board of Governors. Will Rice College, named for William M. Rice Jr., the nephew of the university's founder, William Marsh Rice. Hanson College, named for Harry Clay Hanson, benefactor to the university and chairman of the Rice Board of Governors from 1946 to 1950. Weiss College, named for Harry Carruthers Weiss 1887 to 1948, one of the founders and one-time president of Humble Oil, now ExxonMobil. Jones College, named for Mary Gibbs Jones, wife of prominent Houston philanthropist Jesse Hallman Jones. Brown College, named for Margaret Root Brown by her in-laws, George R. Brown. Lovett College, named after the university's first president, Edgar Odell Lovett. Sid Richardson College, named for the Sid Richardson Foundation, which was established by Texas oilman, cattleman, and philanthropist Sid W. Richardson. Martell College, named for Marion and Sparrows P. Martell, was built in 2002. McMurtry College, named for Rice alumni Burt and Dee Dee McMurtry, Silicon Valley venture capitalists. Duncan College, named for Charles Duncan Jr., Secretary of Energy. Although each college is composed of a full cross section of students at Rice, they have over time developed their own traditions and personalities. When students matriculate, they are randomly assigned to one of the eleven colleges, although legacy exceptions are made for students whose siblings or parents have attended Rice. 
Students generally remain members of the college that they are assigned to for the duration of their undergraduate careers, even if they move off campus at any point. Students are guaranteed on-campus housing for freshman year and two of the next three years. Each college has its own system for determining allocation of the remaining spaces, collectively known as room jacking. Students develop strong loyalties to their college and maintain friendly rivalry with other colleges, especially during events such as beer bike race and O Week. Colleges keep their rivalries alive by performing jacks or pranks on each other, especially during O Week and Willy Week. During matriculation, commencement, and other formal academic ceremonies, the colleges process in the order in which they were established. Topic: Traditions. Topic: Baker 13. The Baker 13 is a tradition in which students run around campus wearing nothing but shoes and shaving cream at 10 p.m. on the 13th and the 31st of every month, as well as the 26th on months with fewer than 31 days. The event, long sponsored by Baker College, usually attracts a small number of students, but Halloween night and the first and last relevant days of the school year both attract large numbers of revelers. Topic: <laughs> Beer Bike Race. According to the official website, "...beer bike is a combination intramural bicycle race and drinking competition dating back to 1957. Ten riders and ten chuggers make up a team. Elaborate rules include details such as a prohibition of bulky or wet clothing articles designed to absorb beer, water or prevent spilled beer, water from being seen, and regulations for chug can design." Each residential college as well as the Graduate Student Association participates with a men's team, a women's team, an alumni team. Each leg of the race is a relay in which a team's chugger must chug 24 U.S. fluid ounces of beer or water for the men's division and 12 U.S. fluid ounces for women before the team's rider may begin to ride. Participants who both ride and chug are referred to as Ironman. Willy Week is a term coined in the 1990s to refer to the week preceding beer bike, a time of general energy and excitement on campus. Jacks pranks are especially common during Willy Week. Some examples in the past include removing shower heads and encasing the Hanson Guardian. The morning of the beer bike race itself begins with what is by some estimations the largest annual water balloon fight in the world. Beer bike is Raya's most prominent student event, and for younger alumni it serves as an unofficial reunion weekend on par with homecoming. The 2009 beer bike race was dedicated to the memory of Dr. Bill Wilson, a popular professor and longtime resident associate of Weiss College who died earlier that year. In the event of inclement weather, beer bike becomes a beer run. The rules are nearly identical, except that the bikers must instead run the length of the track. The most recent beer run was won by Martel in 2016. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Campus Institutions. A number of on-campus institutions form an integral part of student life at Rice. Many of these organizations have been operating for several decades. Topic: <laughs> Rice Coffee House Rice Coffee House finds its beginnings in Hanson College, where students would serve coffee in the Weenie Loft, a study room in the old section's fourth floor. Later, the coffee house moved to the Hanson basement to accommodate more student patrons. That coffee house became known as Breadsticks and Pomegranates. Due to flooding, an unfortunate effect of one, its location in the basement and two, the Houston climate, this coffee house closed. Demand for an on-campus coffeehouse grew and in 1990, the Rice Coffeehouse was founded. The Rice Coffeehouse is a not-for-profit student-run organization serving Rice University and the greater Houston community. Over the past few years, it has introduced fair trade and organic coffee and loose-leaf teas. Coffeehouse baristas are referred to as KOCs, or keepers of the coffee. Rice Coffeehouse has also adopted an unofficial mascot, the Squirrel, which can be found on t-shirts, mugs, and bumper stickers stuck on laptops across campus. 
The logo pays tribute to Raya's unusually plump and frighteningly tame squirrel population. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Willie's Pub. Willie's Pub is Raya's undergraduate pub run by students located in the basement of the Rice Memorial Center. It opened on April 11, 1975, with Rice President Norman Hackerman pouring the first beer. The name was chosen by students in tribute to the university's founder, William Marsh Rice. After the drinking age in Texas was raised in 1986, the pub entered a period of financial difficulties and in April 1995, was destroyed in a fire. The space was gutted but renovated and remains open. Topic. Rice Bikes Rice Bikes is a full-service on-campus bicycle sale, rental, and repair shop. It originated in the basement of Sid Richardson College in February 2011. In 2012, Rice Bikes officially became the university's third student-run business. Rice Bikes merged with a student-run bicycle rental business in 2013, and operations moved to the Rice Memorial Center in 2014. In 2017, the business moved to the garage of the Rice Housing and Dining Department's headquarters. Rice Bikes sells refurbished bicycles bought from students and functions as a full bicycle repair shop. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Student-run media. Rice has a weekly student newspaper, the Rice Thresher, a yearbook, the Campanile, college radio station, KTRU Rice Radio, and now defunct campus-wide student television station, RTV5. They are based out of the RMC Student Center. In addition, Rice hosts several student magazines dedicated to a range of different topics. In fact, the spring semester of 2008 saw the birth of two such magazines, a literary sex journal called Open and an undergraduate science research magazine entitled Catalyst. The Rice Thresher is published every Wednesday and is ranked by Princeton Review as one of the top campus newspapers nationally for student readership. It is distributed around campus, and at a few other local businesses and has a website. The Thresher has a small, dedicated staff and is known for its coverage of campus news, open submission opinion page, and the satirical backpage, which has often been the center of controversy. The newspaper has won several awards from the College Media Association, Associated Collegiate Press and Texas Intercollegiate Press Association. The Rice Campanile was first published in 1916 celebrating Raya's first graduating class. It has published continuously since then, publishing two volumes in 1944 since the university had two graduating classes due to World War II. The website was created sometime in the early to mid-2000s. The 2015 won the first place pinnacle for best yearbook from College Media Association. KTRU Rice Radio is the student-run radio station. Though most DJs are Rice students, anyone is allowed to apply. It is known for playing genres and artists of music and sound unavailable on other radio stations in Houston, and often, the U.S. The station takes requests over the phone or online. In 2000 and 2006, KTRU won Houston Press's best radio station in Houston. In 2003, Rice alum and active KTRU DJ DL's Hip Hip Show won Houston Press's best hip-hop radio show. On August 17, 2010, it was announced that Rice University had been in negotiations to sell the station's broadcast tower, FM frequency and license to the University of Houston system to become a full-time classical music and fine arts programming station. The new station, KUHA, would be operated as a not-for-profit outlet with listener supporters. The FCC approved the sale and granted the transfer of license to the University of Houston system on April 15, 2011. However, KUHA proved to be an even larger failure and so after four and a half years of operation, the University of Houston system announced that KUHA's broadcast tower, FM frequency and license were once again up for sale in August 2015. KTRU continued to operate much as it did previously, streaming live on the internet, via apps, and on HD2 radio using the 90.1 signal. Under student leadership, KTRU explored the possibility of returning to FM radio for a number of years. In spring 2015, KTRU was granted permission by the FCC to begin development of a new broadcast signal via LPFM radio. On October 1, 2015, KTRU made its official return to FM radio on the 96.1 signal. 
While broadcasting on HD2 radio has been discontinued, KTRU continues to broadcast via Internet in addition to its LPFM signal. RTV5 is a student-run television network available as Channel 5 on campus. RTV5 was created initially as Rice Broadcast Television in 1997, RBT began to broadcast the following year in 1998, and aired its first live show across campus in 1999. It experienced much growth and exposure over the years with successful programs like Drinking with Phil, a weekly news show, and extensive live coverage in December 2000 of the shutdown of KTRU by the administration. In spring 2001, the Rice undergraduate community voted in the general elections to support RBT as a blanket tax organization, effectively providing a yearly income of $10,000 to purchase new equipment and provide the campus with a variety of new programming. In the spring of 2005, RBT members decided the station needed a new image and a new name, Rice Television 5. One of RTV5's most popular shows was the 24-hour show, where a camera and couch placed in the RMC stayed on air for 24 hours. One such show is held in fall and another in spring, usually during a weekend allocated for visits by prospective students. RTV5 has a video on-demand site at rtv5.rice.edu. The station went off the air in 2014 and changed its name to Rice Video Productions. In 2015 the group's funding was threatened, but ultimately maintained. In 2016 the small student staff requested to no longer be a blanket tax organization. In the fall of 2017, the club did not register as a club. The Rice Review, also known as R2, is a yearly student-run literary journal at Rice University that publishes prose, poetry, and creative nonfiction written by undergraduate students, as well as interviews. The journal was founded in 2004 by creative writing professor and author Justin Cronin. The Rice Standard was an independent, student run variety magazine modeled after such publications as The New Yorker and Harper's. Prior to fall 2009, it was regularly published three times a semester with a wide array of content, running from analyses of current events and philosophical pieces to personal essays, short fiction, and poetry. In August 2009, the Standard transitioned to a completely online format with the launch of their redesigned website, ristandard.org. The first website of its kind on RIA's campus, the Standard featured blog-style content written by and for RIA students. The RIA Standard had around 20 regular contributors, and the site features new content every day, including holidays. In 2017 no one registered the RIA Standard as a club within the university. Open, a magazine dedicated to literary sex content, predictably caused a stir on campus with its initial publication in spring 2008. A mixture of essays, editorials, stories and artistic photography brought open attention both on campus and in the Houston Chronicle. The third and last annual edition of Open was released in spring of 2010. Athletics. <laughs> 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 Rice participates in NCAA Division I athletics and is part of Conference USA. Rice was a member of the Western Athletic Conference before joining Conference USA in 2005. Rice is the second smallest school, measured by undergraduate enrollment, competing in NCAA Division I FBS football, only ahead of Tulsa. The Rice baseball team won the 2003 College World Series, defeating Stanford, giving Rice its only national championship in a team sport. The victory made Rice University the smallest school in 51 years to win a national championship at the highest collegiate level of the sport. The Rice baseball team has played on campus at Reckling Park since the 2000 season. As of 2010, the baseball team has won 14 consecutive conference championships in three different conferences, the final championship of the defunct Southwest Conference, all nine championships while a member of the Western Athletic Conference, and five more championships in its first five years as a member of Conference USA. Additionally, Raya's baseball team has finished third in both the 2006 and 2007 College World Series tournaments. Rice now has made six trips to Omaha for the CWS. In 2004, Rice became the first school ever to have three players selected in the first eight picks of the MLB draft when Philip Humber, Jeff Neiman, and Wade Townsend were selected third, fourth, and eighth, respectively. In 2007, Joe Savory was selected as the 19th overall pick. 
In 2006, the football team qualified for its first bowl game since 1961, ending the second longest bowl drought in the country at the time. On December 22, 2006, Rice played in the New Orleans Bowl in New Orleans, Louisiana against the Sun Belt Conference champion, Troy. The Owls lost 41-17. The bowl appearance came after Rice had a 14-game losing streak from 2004-05 and went 1-10 in 2005. The streak followed an internally authorized 2003 McKinsey report that stated football alone was responsible for a $4 million deficit in 2002. Tensions remained high between the athletic department and faculty, as a few professors who chose to voice their opinion were in favor of abandoning the football program. The program's success in 2006, the Rice Renaissance, proved to be a revival of the Owl football program, quelling those tensions. David Bailiff took over the program in 2007 and has remained head coach. Jarrett Dillard set an NCAA record in 2006 by catching a touchdown pass in 13 consecutive games and took a 15-game overall streak into the 2007 season. In 2008, the football team posted a 9-3 regular season, capping off the year with a 38-14 victory over Western Michigan University in the Texas Bowl. The win over Western Michigan marked the Owls' first bowl win in 45 years. Rice Stadium also serves as the performance venue for the university's Marching Owl Band, or MOB. Despite its name, the MOB is a scatter band that focuses on performing humorous skits and routines rather than traditional formation marching. Rice Owls men's basketball won 10 conference titles in the former Southwest Conference 1918, 1935 asterisk, 1940, 1942 asterisk, 1943 asterisk, 1944 asterisk, 1945, 1949 asterisk, 1954 asterisk, 1970 asterisk denotes shared title. Most recently, guard Morris Almond was drafted in the first round of the 2007 NBA draft by the Utah Jazz. Rice recently named former Cal Bears head coach Ben Braun as head basketball coach to succeed Willis Wilson, fired after Rice finished the 2007-2008 season with a winless conference record and overall record of 3-27. Rice has been very successful in women's sports in recent years. In 2004-05, Rice sent its women's volleyball, soccer, and basketball teams to their respective NCAA tournaments. In 2005-06, the women's soccer, basketball, and tennis teams advanced, with five individuals competing in track and field. In 2006-07, the Rice women's basketball team made the NCAA tournament, while again five Rice track and field athletes received individual NCAA berths. In 2008, the women's volleyball team again made the NCAA tournament. In 2011 the women's swim team won their first conference championship in the history of the university. This was an impressive feat considering they won without having a diving team. In 2017, the women's basketball team, led by second-year head coach Tina Langley, won the women's basketball invitational, defeating UNC Greensboro 74-62 in the championship game at Tudor Fieldhouse. Though not a varsity sport, ultimate frisbee is where Rice has seen the most success. Raya's women's team, named Torque, won consecutive Division III national championships in 2014 and 2015. Raya's mascot is Sammy the Owl. In previous decades, the university kept several live owls on campus in front of Lovett College, but this practice has been discontinued due to public pressure over the welfare of the owls. Rice also has a 12-member co-ed cheerleading squad and a co-ed dance team, both of which perform at football and basketball games throughout the year. Alumni, faculty and presidents As of 2011, Rice has graduated 98 classes of students consisting of 51,961 living alumni. Over 100 students at Rice have been Fulbright Scholars, 25 Marshall Scholars, 25 Mellon Fellows, 12 Rhodes Scholars, 6 Udall Scholars, and 65 Watson Fellows, among several other honors and awards. 
Raya's distinguished faculty and alumni consists of three Nobel laureates, two Pulitzer Prize Award winners, six Fulbright Scholars, 29 Alexander von Humboldt Foundation recipients, eight members of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences, one member of the American Philosophical Society, 35 Guggenheim Fellowships, 17 members of the National Academy of Engineering, seven members of the National Academy of Sciences, five fellows of the National Humanities Center, and 86 fellows of the National Science Foundation. Foundation. Alumni of Rice have occupied top positions in business, including Thomas H. Cruikshank, the former CEO of Halliburton, John Doerr, billionaire and venture capitalist, Howard Hughes, and Fred C. Koch. In government and politics, Rice alumni include Alberto Gonzalez, former Attorney General, Charles Duncan, former Secretary of Energy, William P. Hobby Jr., John Klein, George P. Bush, Josh Ernest, White House Press Secretary for President Obama, Ben Rhodes, Deputy National Security Advisor for President Obama and Anise Parker, the 61st Mayor of Houston. Rice alumni who became prominent writers include Larry McMurtry, Pulitzer Prize-winning author and Oscar-winning writer of the screenplay for Brokeback Mountain, Joyce Carol Oates, who was once a doctoral candidate in English, John Graves, author of Goodbye to a River, and Candace Bushnell, author of Sex and the City, who attended for three semesters. Notable entrepreneurs who graduated from Rice include Tim and Carrie Leak, founders of the Alamo Drafthouse Cinema and Drafthouse Films, and Brock Wagner and Kevin Bartle, founders of St. Arnold Brewing Company. In science and technology, Rice alumni include 14 NASA astronauts, Robert Curl, Nobel Prize-winning discoverer of fullerene, Robert Woodrow Wilson, winner of the Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery of cosmic microwave background radiation, David Eagleman, celebrity neuroscientist and NYT best-selling author, and NASA former Apollo 11 and 13 warning systems engineer and motivational speaker Jerry Woodfill. In engineering, Dr. Pautach Valerino, works for the NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory and worked on the Cassini mission. Rice athletes include Lance Berkman, Bubba Crosby, Harold Solomon, Frank Ryan, Tommy Kramer, Jose Cruz Jr., O.J. Brigantz, Larry Izzo, James Casey, Courtney Hall, Bert Emanuel, Luke Wilson, Tony Singrani, Anthony Rendon, and Leo Rucca, as well as three Olympians Funmi Jimmo 06, Allison Beckford 04, and William Fred Hansen 63. Notable Rice University people References External links Official website Rice University Athletics website